Cause you don't judge me Cause if you did, baby, I would judge you too Cause I got issues, you got them too So give them all to me and I'll give mine to you Let's go for a ride, ladies and gentlemen Arr! Monkey on a rebel 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 I see a monkey rolling down my block is he in a gang? Does he talk them things? I saw a monkey rolling down my side. You know what? We got a new dude at work. But he's inconsistent. And, uh... You know I work at a liquor store and he might be an alcoholic. So, uh, not sure how long we're gonna keep him, but... I was really happy that we got somebody new so I could, you know, start doing videos like these again. I'm using my Sunday night to do this right now and it feels really good it feels good the wind blowing on my arms since i have a full face helmet that's the only thing wind can oh look guys i injured myself playing basketball <clears throat> and then i re-injured it doing a painting which you guys will get to see very soon i'm i'm ready to get back into that painting game you know what i mean been away too long so I've got this painting going and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will appreciate it when I release it. So stay on this channel and you guys will get to see it. So this channel is going to get morphed, right? It used to have video games. Now it will not ever have video games again because, well, you guys know how I feel about Street Fighter V. <laughs> I don't like it that much. Hey guys, it's a bad game. Cut it out. Uh, I'm not even saying that from a, a vantage point of salt. No, I'm saying that from... Just, just not feeling it. Ooh, a cop. You can't catch me. I'm on a rebel. Remember I told you guys before? I couldn't even get a ticket if I wanted to on a rebel. They don't go that fast. But anyway, that's besides the point, guys. But I'm happy to be on the bike again. I'm not too sure what I want to talk about, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. Let you guys know that I do miss you. And I actually still have quite a number of patrons even after my absence and it it really warms my heart that you guys still support me and still believe that i will come back to you and you know what i have an obligation to come back to you because i want to come back to you know and uh to everybody that's you know still on my patrons list that painting i was talking about earlier all y'alls are gonna get a print of it no questions asked, it's just gonna show up at your doorstep. And that's it. That's it, no questions asked. Don't ask me any more questions. And why are there so many red lights back to back in a short distance? Anyways, this is my hood, I should already know that. But anyways guys, you know what we could talk about? Let's talk about friends, okay? When I was younger, in high school and stuff, you know, we all got a lot of friends. But as the story goes, as your life, you know, moves on, you grow up, some people don't grow up, they go different ways, and you wind up having less friends. You know, that whole entourage thing, that's when you don't pick and choose. I'd compare it to, say, when you're in junior high school, high school, the only reason why you like somebody because they're cute, because they're pretty. Oh, I think he's so fine. I think I like him, and their attitude is like garbage, but the only reason why you stay with them is because they cute, they fine. But as you grow older, you realize cute and fine, it just doesn't last. And neither do some of these friends. I'd put up the air quotation quotes, but then I'd have to take my hand off the throttle and you ain't want to see that. Maybe you do want to see that, but that ain't gonna happen. So this is my advice to you guys. As you guys grow older and grow wiser, there are people, I would say, that you need to cut out like a cardboard cutout, just cut it out. Cut them out, man. You already know who I'm talking about. Maybe you don't know how. Maybe they're a family member. Maybe they're a close friend. Maybe they're a friend of a friend that just comes by too much. This guy needed to go, he was there first. When people try to be nice to people on motorcycles, it's fucking annoying as shit. Don't do it, guys. If it's your turn, fucking go. Hi. Right. That's enough about that. If you guys recognize this hood, well, this is my hood too. 
but it also belongs to you. But what I'm saying is, guys, back to the to the topic at hand, you know, perfection is perfected. I'm gonna let them understand. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Shout outs to me uh, missing my gear. It's all good. It's a rebel. I would say in your life, you should have about six slots. Six slots, guys, that you can put people in. Family excluded. I'm just gonna say even negative families and stuff like that, you gotta, they're gonna come around, so you just keep them, whatever. But I'm talking about friends. Friends that you get to pick and choose. I would say there's about six slots. One slot for your significant other. And if that significant other isn't your best friend, you might wanna open up that slot again. Just saying. Just saying, just saying, okay? Your significant other should be your best friend, not that you can't have a really good friend that is just not your best friend anymore because this is the person that's gonna go through your life through thick and thin, you know, stuff like that. I got Girl Monkey, I'm good, we good, we good. If anybody wants to know me and Girl Monkey, we good, we good like that. Let me just tell you guys, okay, I had a friend in high school right remember when i told you in high school you don't really look too much your psychology isn't too strong yet <clears throat> my throat's getting dry i'm eating air right now talking to you guys but that's fine that's fine we're gonna get through this now this guy all right now he is a piece of work he's a piece of work all right he's uh he's very cheap okay he's of the not to say anything about Chinese, because I'm half Chinese myself. He's of the Chinese persuasion. <laughs> Only that he's pure Chinese. Not to say anything about pure Chinese. I'm just saying this, this, this guy was Chinese. But he's cheap! To the motherfucker. Because there's a difference between cheap and frugal, right? If you guys want to get it, cheap is when you just think everything's expensive. Frugal is when you don't buy shit you don't need. That's frugal, I say. Frugal sounds smart to me. Because that's what I like to call myself. It's frugal. So, you guys are gonna love this, okay? He is very weird, okay? Maybe the only reason why I hung out with him so long is because that motherfucker would crack me up without even trying. I'm not saying he's a funny guy. I'm not saying he comes up with witty shit to say that made me go tee hee. I'm just saying the things that this motherfucker thought was okay was funny to me. All right, let's go back to high school, okay? Let's call this guy Dykel, okay? Let's, let's say his name is Dykel. <coughs> so Dykel, <laughs> so Dykel would walk around. Woo! Lucky the Rebels brakes work. So Dykel would walk around and he would touch your chin. Guys, he would palm up put his hand underneath your chin and say, chin you foo. Now I'm just gonna pause right here because I know you must be holding your stomach. This guy talks this way, okay? In high school, it was amusing than a motherfucker, yo. Now just remember that phrase, chin you foo, okay? Cause that's the way he talks. Now, move on to a little bit later in life. Say, like senior year of high school. Okay, and we all decided to ditch school and go to the beach, right? Back then, I didn't have my own car. I would have had to steal my parents' car, but someone had already stolen it, uh, namely my parents. They had stolen their own car and it was not home, okay? My other friend, he didn't have a car also, but this guy, Daikel, Daikel has a car. Daikel has a nice car that could get us places, get us to the beach so we can hang out with our friends. You know what this motherfucker said? We go, Michael, you got a car. <laughs> it only makes sense if you drive us all to the beach and we'll have the best time of our senior year. You know what this guy says? He said his car is old and it's gonna blow up, foo. I'm like, Ugh. guess what guys? We wound up going to the beach, 
But that's because I had to call around and find find a ride for all of us. Him too. Him too. Because his car was going to blow up food. God damn it. I'm getting worked up telling this story. I'm making turns. I don't even know where I'm going. Anyways, okay. We can fast forward a little bit more. Let's go, let's go into the college days. Well, at least his college days, because my college days were numbered. Anyways. So, uh, he buys a brand new car. A brand new Honda Accord. Okay, he doesn't mind spending the money if it's for himself, I guess. But remember the car that was gonna blow up food? He still has that car. He never drove the new car. My finger hurts. He never, it was in the garage. The only time that that car got turned on, I don't know how his girlfriend got turned on by his cheapness, but that car only got turned on like once every couple of weeks to make sure the battery was not dead. How cheap is that? Fucking Daiko. Fucking Daiko, dude. All right, fast forward, okay? This is all in California, mind you. So, I am now in the beautiful state of Tejas, right? What a turn, what a turn I just made. Switching three lanes. Anyways. So Daiko says, uh, you know, he, he, him and his uh, girlfriend, they want to come visit. They want to come visit. Because it was my birthday, right? So I would say, okay, he was going to, you know, spend the money to come visit. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, I have to go to work. I have to take my car to work, you know? And then I say this, okay? Now, mind you, I'm just jumping ahead, okay? There's a, there's a lot of issues in our friendship <laughs> as time went along. You know, as I got brighter, as I got brighter as a human being and start to see people who they is, you know, how they is, what they is about, and what they is to me, you know? And so I decide to say this, okay? Okay, Michael, when you're here, you know, um... I need to take my car to work during the day. He's gonna stay at my house, by the way, of course, right? I go, you want me to rent you a car? He goes, yeah, yeah, can you rent me a car? <laughs> and I go, wait, can't you rent your own car? He goes, no, I'm not gonna rent a car. He go, well, uh, maybe, you know, I could use your car. I go, well, you know, I need to go to work. Mind you, I guess there was a way to work around where he could use my car, you know? But it would be very inconvenient to me. And at this time, our friendship was like, whatever's now, you know, I move states and stuff like that. I'm trying to leave you behind, but you're still here. But he said it was okay if I rented him a car. And that, given all the other situations, okay, on how I feel, you know, we remember feelings more than we remember actual situations, okay? Keep that in mind, guys. I got an A in psychology without even trying, so keep that in mind, babe. <sighs> I just started to realize that this guy, oh shit, I just remembered another motherfucking story. I'm going to tell you right now, right after this. I'd have to jump back into the past, though. Okay, so I go, dude, you'd really let me rent you a car. That's what I said to him. You'd really let me rent you a car, you know? And he was like, why not, man? I'm going to come all the way over there to visit you. I'm like, you know, the cheapness was getting to me, you know? It was uh, making me tired like it is right now. Okay, there's plenty of stories. Maybe that will come into my head as we go along here. Now, remember, the moral of the story is, once I'm done with all this, know your friends and know who to fucking cut and cut them as soon as possible before they spread like cancer. And the cancer that they're going to kill you with is wasting time with them. Wasting that precious, delicious time with them. Anyways. So, let me tell you a scam that he did that I can't prove but I'm pretty sure of 
you know how you go into a big group? Remember I told you guys we used to all go in big groups? So that big group would get hungry and we'd all go eat, okay? We'd all go to the restaurant and back in the day, uh, you know, being that we were all good friends, there was no, you know, everybody split the check, you know, all that stuff. We had one giant check and we collected money. We collected money from everybody. Sources close to me say, sources close to me say that he always made sure, ooh, the cops, you can't catch me. I'm not going over, wait, what's the speed limit here? Fuck. I'm saying, you can't catch me because, oh God, I lost my train of thought because I saw the cops, you know, they might jump out and beat me. These are Garland cops, you know, they beat, oh, I think that was a Richardson cop. Okay, I'm all right. You know, if it was Garland cops though. Okay, anyway, so they made sure he was at the end to collect all the money because you know, I have good friends and they always tip more than necessary. You know what I mean? So by the time it gets to him, he counts the money and realizes that he never has to pay if he's always the last one. You guys get it? You guys get it? Because there was no, okay guys, who paid too much? It was always just like, okay, we good. So he always ate for free and he always made sure he got the bill last. He did wind up being an accountant so I guess it would make sense if only he was an honest one. So sources say, me, myself, I just pay my shit and I didn't think about it. But you know, the people next to him, they were eyeing him because they knew he was cheap than a mug. Are you guys worked up? Guys, if you guys know a guy this cheap, please, man. Remember those six slots I told you about? Clear one out, clear it out. I tell you, man, cheap people will give you nothing but, but grief. This guy taught me a great lesson. He did, he taught me a great lesson to never befriend someone who is that cheap again. And I twill not, I vow, for my own sanity's sake. So, here's another tale of woe, okay? So all of us, we needed to go to Las Vegas. Now, it wasn't Las Vegas to have fun, to gamble. I was only 20 years old at the time. It was a business trip, okay? A business trip, I would put quotations up again, but it was to make money, okay? And at the time, I had two cars, okay? I had my parents' car, and I had my car at the time, which was a Corolla, like a, like an old Corolla of some sort. And so, and you know, he has, he has a car, remember? Blow up foo, that, that car's name is Blow up foo, okay? We're all, we need to go to Vegas, okay? We gotta make this money, yo. We gotta make this money, yo. It's my turn, okay. We gotta make this money, so, uh, we need to, we need to figure out rides to get up there, okay? And, and, uh, I didn't want to use my parents' car. I used my car. Of course, I got my own car now, you know? Worked hard, got a car, you know? And he wanted to go too. And I go, but you got a car. I guess you're all good to go. <laughs> Little did I know that this motherfucker was even for money. Now isn't cheapness being about money? Even for money, he's not willing to go, all right? Now I know, maybe you guys are thinking, maybe his car will blow up, fool. No, his car will not blow up, fool. Anyways, I wound up asking my parents to take their car so he could go because I'm a great friend and I'm by far not cheap. As you guys will understand, as you guys will understand, and maybe some of you already do understand how me and money, I just don't really care that much about money. I just know that I need it to survive, to do shit like this, you know? But uh, I wound up asking my parents to use their car, making up some excuse like his car didn't work and how important this, this little business trip of ours was. And uh, I wound up, he wound up using my parents' car to go up to uh, fucking Vegas. 
Isn't that crazy? From California, that's a four hour drive. And then four hours back, eight hours, you know? Talking about a thousand miles put onto a car, you know? And plus I had two cars, so that's 2,000 miles put onto cars that technically belong to me. because he was too cheap to go and I really wanted him to succeed in life and I thought this business trip would be good for him. That's what friends do. Turns out he couldn't survive in the business because he's too cheap, right? Sometimes you gotta pay to play. He wasn't willing to pay and he surely didn't know how to play. Oh God, I missed the, I missed the gear again, but it's a rebel, it's okay. Anyways, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll think of more stories later, but this video would probably go on forever of me ranting and raving without glow sticks. All right, guys. Well, there's a painting video gonna come up, and I also want to tell you guys if you rolled with me to the end, hey, that's a good one, right? For all the people that you know are willing to ride with me to the end, well, of this video. I'm gonna be re-upping some old videos because I just don't have the time nowadays, you know, to make new videos. So I'm just gonna re-up some old painting videos that I really like and uh, to, keep, to keep myself in the public eye, to keep myself in your eye, to let you know I didn't forget, you know, and uh, I do want to keep this channel alive. I love you guys, all the support or whatnot. And that painting I'm going to be, that painting uh, that I'm doing right now, and I can't do it right now, guys, because of this finger. Fuck, it really hurts. Look at, look at the hand, right? I'm the left-handed monkey. What hand is this, guys? That's the left hand. And what, what, what finger is injured? The index finger. I need that finger to hold my paintbrush, and I can't do it. It swells up because I, well, hey, maybe I should tell you why my finger is like that. Because I was playing basketball and I jammed it. But it didn't, it didn't jam at like the upper knuckle. It jammed at the, like the first knuckle. And that's one of the worst jams. So it's taking forever to heal. I'm frustrated. I want to go and get to that painting. I want to show you guys. I want to finish that, finish the video and all that stuff. But in the meantime, I'm just going to upload past videos for you guys to enjoy again. And like Tupac, remember me. Anyways, next time maybe I'll talk about Tupac. Maybe. I, I struggle to find things to talk about on this more video, but every time I jump on the jump on the bike, my mouth just just moves like like it's connected to the motor or something like that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you know anybody that likes moto vlogs, you know, the more the merrier. Let's grow this channel. It hasn't been growing. There's still 10,000 subs, but it's been stuck at 10,000 for like 10,000 years. Anyways, guys, I'm Audis. Peace out. Or monkey on a rebel. 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 I see a monkey.